new book out here and some music actually uh, with a similar title called Starting Over. Starting and this over. book has generated a lot of attention. Yes. You talk about life uh, with your brother Michael Jackson. Yeah. And you also talk about what the phrases they're telling us is quote unquote the reason behind his death. Yes. What do you think that yes. is? It was pure murder. I don't care what anyone says. This was pure murder. This was a controversy. This was all manipulated to do this. And Michael knew that, and he mentioned it over and over and over again to me. Told me who was going to do it, why they were going to do it, the reason for doing it. Well, what's and the motive? The motive was to get his publishing. As I, I don't know if you guys are aware of it, but Michael had the, one of the biggest catalogs yeah. in the yeah. world. The Beatles songs and several others. Everybody's basic. Every artist basically out there. He owned all the elevator music you hear. That's his. So all this generates a lot of money every year. It's over billions of dollars. And so here, this to them, this little meek little kid. We're not going to let him have this. We're going to take this away from him. So he he just. He hated it, but he loved it. He hated the fact that he had the catalog and they were going to murder him for it. So he said, I don't want it. It's not worth it. And then the other part of him would say, no, but it's mine. I bought it outright and I'm keep keeping it growing. This is for my children. They can't do this Did to he me. tell you, though, that he did it for his life? I mean, oh, yeah. He, he absolutely. Was about that. When he first told me, though, I was very hesitant about believing him. I thought he was being a bit paranoid about it. But the so what, more, what changed your mind? Well, the more he talked about it, the more passionate he was about it, he started changing. He was very jovial and, and laughing and loved the rides and hoping all of a sudden he's like, oh, they're going to kill me. He was really afraid to go uh, out. Okay, now, the, <clears throat> well, okay. I was just saying, I'll never forget the afternoon. As you recall, Farrah Fawcett had died earlier that morning. Oh, yeah. No, we're going to look this direction. We're going to focus on Dr. Murray. I said, but you need to focus on other people as well. No, we're going to stay focused on Dr. Murray. So you contend that he may be the one that what you believe. Dr. Murray was a fall guy. Bottom line, that's what he was. And they knew this. These people entered into his <clears> life when he did not want them there. He had gotten rid of these people. Michael had fired John Branca. He didn't want him around. He fired him, then Michael hired a private investigator to find out. Then he found out John Branca had smuggled $150,000 offshore of his money. A million, sorry, $150 million offshore of his money. And he just started investigating. John, John Branca is a, is a very prominent <clears throat> attorney. Right. And if you mention a name like John Branca and, and other, other names, I imagine, I mean, this is what Michael told me. So, so does it make you scared for you? Because these are big. This is my brother. He's no longer here. Mm -hmm. I have to fight for what's right. I have to fight for what's right for him and for his children, and that's what I'm doing. I, it, it's it's so unfair for a person. If, if, if you come on our air here and in your book and you say, which I think you're saying, you tell me, John Branca and others, in effect, killed my brother. I'm not blatantly say they killed him. This was a conspiracy to do this to him, and this is what Michael has said to me. This is what he's told is me and my mother as well. Looking back, to have stepped in or gotten other family members involved. To, I, well, to my mother, things? my mother knew about it, of course, and I think one other sibling knew as well. Yeah. I, you could have intervened a lot sooner. You must understand these people, according to him, they came into his life, and according to the his staff that worked around him, they came into his life probably a week, some of them, before he passed. And they were inquiring about the catalog. Mind you, Michael told me about the catalog years ago, how they were after him for it. So it's very interesting. And you have to keep this in mind, too. When my, when my brother <coughs> passed, that well, actually, it was really early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And of course, everything was reported later. And they hid all the evidence as much as they possibly could. But when he passed, do you know the people that were working with him went in there and fired every single staff that worked with Michael and made them sign a confidentiality contract? You can't, you can't tell anything in disclosure. That's something you don't do. The first thing you do is say, what exactly happened? What took place here? No, they didn't do that. They got rid of everybody. So someone asked, well, why wasn't the family around to, to be a, to, as a part of his life to prevent those people from coming in? Some people might ask that. Of course, why. and people do ask that. And this is, this is how people control you. This is what starting over is about. People coming into your life because of your personality being me, controlling you, controlling your funds, controlling what you do, and that's what they did. Michael, when you would try to call, they wouldn't let phone calls come through. It, it was just, it was very <clears throat> difficult. Yeah. You, my father, at one point, he says, forget it, I'm going to drive right through the gate if you don't open it. And he attempted, he did it, actually. He just, he didn't yeah. care. This was his son. He was yeah. trying to protect him and save him. He was very afraid. He was afraid of his life. He was afraid mm -hmm. for everything. And his kids, you know, they go on to talk about sort of things, too. You, you're a public person. You're not a private person. And you have put this in print. I'm surprised, quite candidly, it hasn't gotten more attention. Well, this book, if you read this book, this book is 80% about starting over meaning my life and the whole bit. And the, 
the abuse that I went through with my manager and locked in closets and not able to watch television, controlling yeah. what I say and do. It's about maybe 10 or 15 percent is about the end of Michael because that was my yeah. life. Yeah. I started writing this in 2008, mm. February, and then stopped and kept going. And so it ended, he had to pass, unfortunately. So I just with the little. What do you there. hope happens now? I want justice. <laughs> and justice would be what? I want justice for all of those who are responsible for my brother's death. And they That's are. What I, and those people are the ones that they know who they are. It wasn't just Dr. Murray. And I'm telling them to look to the right and left, but they choose to look. And it's not fair. It's totally unfair. And they know that. Latoya Jackson's new book is called Starting Over. There's music accompanying the book, uh, as well as a single out with a single title, same title. Uh, very nice to see you. We've been compelling and candid. Thank you so much, Thanks Latoya. So much. It was pure murder. This was pure murder.